Hello, Taurus. Welcome to uh, my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Some of you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for July. We're going to take a look and see. Just see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, vice versa as well. I always say feel free to um, jump ahead to the start of the reading, uh, which is linked in the uh, comment section. If you click on where it says start reading, that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those whoop, that, just can't, whoop, that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to take this in off camera and also clar clarify them. And um, I will be. All right, so Taurus, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys. I'm picking up as um, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, okay. So I'm going to say, you know, this kind of gives you a full picture as to why um, your self-confidence, um, your self-worth, how you feel about yourself really, really plays a part in just the experiences that you have. So let's, let me, let me explain what's going on here. So it seems like there's been some form of justice. So, so this person seems like there's some form of justice that they feel has been served. This is in the past. Something happened around them coming out on top in some way or them feeling like justice is being served. It could be, if some of you have kids, it could be maybe kids that you have, um, something that you've built, maybe created together. Um, if this is a divorce situation, they've come out on top in some way, but there is this thing that they have come out on top in or received some form of justice. Feel pretty good about that. Something that they may have to give you a little bit of or... Um, yeah. Yeah. You definitely, you definitely felt disappointed by that. Definitely disappointment there. Trying to be strong. You know, really trying to, for some of you, contain, you know, that inner beast. But just really trying to be strong. Very frustrating, though. But wanting to move up. Wanting to move forward. Let's say that, that kind of clarifies it. Because yes, as much as there's disappointment there and there, you're wanting to ignore something. You're not wanting to, you, you kind of wanting to, it's like you wanted to ignore it. That's what it kind of comes up with. It's that not wanting to, I'm wanting to ignore something where with your person, it, and them holding back. Um, and I feel like they've gotten into something and maybe may have gotten into a, another relationship, maybe something that you don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah. Which brings us to where we are at the moment. You acknowledge that there's been a change. This is, the, you know, the situation has changed. There's been a huge transformation, a huge change here. Um, you're showing up as the night. The night talks about hesitation you know, slow moving, still having emotions for something, but very slow moving. You're showing up as that. So you still have emotions for this person, regardless of what has happened in the past, regardless of how this person might have treated you. And again, we're going back to this ignoring. There's something, and I'm not comfortable with that, simply because, and I'm an Aries guy, so please, <laughs> you know, I'm a straight shooter. Um, sometimes my words can be harsh, so, uh, but always know that it's never coming from a, an ill intent or a bad place. It's just that I care about you guys. So I'm going to sometimes just say it in my Aries way. 
Um, I'm not feeling this ignoring. It feels like you was ignoring how they were treating you, how, how they made you feel about something because this person is showing up as a five, very different to you. You're like wanting to move towards this person, but hesitant, wanting to approach this person or maybe say hello or contact them or reach out, but a bit hesitant. Maybe you have already, um, and you, you know, maybe hello or just maybe short conversations or maybe bits of you know, the old text or whatever the case may be. But this person is showing up as the five. It's like there's irritants there. It's like, you know, maybe this person's not even responding to you. Taurus. You know, especially with the seven of wands there. You know, this defending. Yeah, you know, wanting to just kind of, you know, that's communication coming in if you're communicating or attempting to, and that's them pushing away. So there is definitely this acknowledgement that something's changed, but you're still wanting to get back with this person. You still wanted to get back with this person, but some of you don't know that they've started to date. I think it's dating or into some form of relationship. Some of you do know and you don't even care. It's like, okay, um, there's still, you know, I, I get it, you know, I can't still, I mean, I can't help how I feel. But this person wants to ignore you. They want to ignore the situation because they're quite happy doing what they're doing, connecting with whoever it is that they're connecting with. And you're just still have this desire and this passion and this drive, this drive, this drive, this, should I say need? This want, let's say that. I'm going to say want. This want to, you know, move towards this person because they make you happy. On some level, they make you happy. Notice that there's been a change, giving you the cold shoulder to a degree. Um, or to whatever degree as well, but you still wanting to, you know, offer offer this person something, give this person, provide, you know, put in on this, take a risk. Like I said, things want things to turn around, and I kind of feel like, you know, this ignoring plays a part in why you're choosing to just ignore what this person is saying. You know, the writing on the wall type of thing. Um, and I feel like because for a lot of you have gone through so much with this person that it's either taken away or chipped at your confidence in some way, you've come out of alignment with yourself. Um, because if you was in alignment with yourself, they would reflect that. It's like, you know, for those of you that are into my channel and, you know, we're talking about energy and, um, manifestation and just you know, understanding that self-love is important, how you feel about yourself is important. And you've just come out of alignment. And I feel like that's based on experiences. So what we're doing or needing to do, which there is no, um, how do I put that? There is no, okay, we'll come back to that. Yeah. Because this person is just not, they're not acknowledging. They're not wanting, they're not wanting to deal. They're not wanting to acknowledge. Then it's like they, it's, they've already started dating or they've already started to engage in, um, other relationships or other people or another person. And like I said, a lot of you may know already, but that doesn't kind of matter, but where you move to is so important where you move to kind of changes everything because you start to break away from this person. So let's continue this in part two, which should be pinned in the comment section, guys. So click on that. Um, other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day and I shall see you guys in a bit.